Another nice night with uh, with friends Katsuani Bay, George's Taverna. So uh, yeah, here with Diana and uh, yeah, one or two other boats. Uh, Avalon over there. Um, we're heading back to Paleros now because we need to resupply. I need to get on shore power, top the tanks up, and all that sort of stuff and head to the supermarket so it's easier to do that when you've got the car and uh, the car is at Poleros so uh, yeah so we're heading back there now well we couldn't get into the harbour and I was desperate to get the washing done so I put the generator on it's probably not the cheapest way of doing it I should have got, gone to the, uh, the laundrette I think but uh, it's worked and uh, the, it's on the final uh, spin cycle now, so hopefully that's the washing complete. So this is from the out hole for the mainsail, you can see the pulley's collapsed. So before I go out and see if I can buy a new one, I'm going to see if I've got anything in my spares locker that will do this. So, found one. There we go, that'll do. It's the same size, just slightly different make. So it should fit nicely. So I've got to get the shackle just tight and then we're sorted. That's it. Got exciting, didn't it, Truff? Uh, here we are on Ithaca, and uh, yeah, about two hours ago we uh, were sailing along quite nicely in about 20 knots of wind, 
and then a thunder squall came in and uh, it went from 20 knots to gusting to 50 in the space of about 10 minutes which was uh, rather exciting uh, but I got the sails in and we motored the rest of the way in quite happily so uh, we just anchored up uh, just outside Bathy and uh, yeah the girls are overdue for going to the beach and there's a beach just behind me so I'm going to take them in a sec and then uh, get them some dinner because it's nearly 8 o'clock, it's 20 to 8 so they're a couple of hours late on getting their dinner but look at that the sun is dropping down behind the mountains it's about another hour to go I think it's going to be a glorious sunset.